Hello, my friends. This is a Circle of Fifth course, and I want to welcome you into this class. As you know, I have many courses on the Circle of Fifths, and they're done at different levels. One of the most important things about the Circle of Fifths, you need to be able to understand music theory behind the Circle of Fifths. In order for you to understand the music theory behind the Circle of Fifths, you need to look at the circle in a dynamic way. Let me show you this. Many people look at the circle of fifths like a static circle. I want you to move away from the static circle and to look at the circle of fifths as a moving circle. Once you see how the circle of fifths move, you'll be able to see how the letters here interact with one another. On the left side, you see a static circle. On the right side here, I call this a moving circle. Is a dynamic circle. Notice how the letters are written. They're not really facing you, are they? This is how I want you to understand the circle of fifths. When you make the circle facing one another, you begin to see the circle moving dynamically. And there's a reason to this. And you'll be able to find all the major keys, all the major scales by moving this circle. So the first thing you need to do is to create your own rotary circle of fifths. Here's a sample for you to see. In my course, I also show you how to create the outer circle. And you can use the template there. And I also show you how to create the inner circle so that you know how to use the inner template. And then all you need to do is to put the inner circle and the outer circle together into a CD, and you have a moving circle of fifths in front of you. Some of my students have already created their own circle of fifths. Here's one of them. Here's another one. Another one. And they use the circle of fifths to study the course. And this is very helpful to them as they learn about music theory behind the circle of fifths. Look at how nicely they are done. And this one even has a 3D effect looks very professional, doesn't it? So I want you to create your own circle of fifths. Use the circle of fifths as you study my courses. Take a picture of the circle of fifths, send it to me, and I'd love to see how you are doing. All right, I'll see you in the next lecture.